This video will describe disassembly and access of important items and assemblies for the MX T70 Party Audio. Begin by placing the unit on a protected surface. A covered 6-foot folding table in this example. Carefully set it on its edge support and not directly onto the metal speaker grill. Use the Samsung Open Tool or a plastic flat blade screwdriver to carefully remove each rubber foot cushion. Avoid damaging the cushions. Remove two screws from each foot location. Now, pull and slide down the three decorative corner covers to release and remove them. Remove the screw for the foot LED board at a foot location for its access. Remove its connector and board assembly. Repeat for other three feet positions while noting F for front, L for left, and R for right board locations. To remove just the top cover, remove the top screw located on each side. Now, slowly, beginning at the front, lift off the top cover to access the attached cables located at the back. Pull straight up to release the cable from the connector. Remove the cover assembly. Remove two holding screws from the cover to release the VFD display board. Carefully slide out the board and remove its connector to release the entire VFD board assembly. Now remove four screws to access the top cover's keyboard assembly. Seven related switches can now be accessed for testing. After removing the top cover, Begin by removing four metal plate screws. Then remove the plate. Carefully disconnect all cables to the main board while squeezing each locking tab to release. Note their cable locations for reassembly. Taking a photo for reference is recommended. Remove all mounting screws. Use a magnetic screwdriver while being extra careful not to drop any screws into the unit. Also release the Bluetooth antenna by gently pulling the connector straight up and out from the board, being careful not to damage it. Now lift the main board directly up and out of the mounting assembly. Begin by removing the two main board's mounting bracket screws and attached rear cable assembly. Remove the two front mounting screws near the fan. Now carefully lift out the mount assembly with the attached fan just far enough to remove its connector. Position all connectors away and remove the metal assembly from the unit. Now remove all cables from the power supply unit, squeezing each connector tab to release. Remove all mounting screws.
Carefully lift the supply up and out of its mounting bracket. Remove the nine screws from the bottom frame when required to release the speaker grills or back. Remove two screws in the top handle as well as the two in the bottom handle. Continue to remove the remaining screws down each side to remove each speaker grill, plate, and back cover for additional component access. Please note size and location of each screw for reassembly. Place unit on its side edge and not on the plate. Make sure any speaker cables have been disconnected. Begin dismantling the left plate by pulling up and out at each interlocking tab to separate and release. Now, use the open tool or strong plastic flat blade screwdriver to separate the locking tabs along the bottom of the plate and the base of the unit. Please note that it requires careful force in order to fully separate and unlock. Now, remove the plate assembly while rocking to assist to help release its tabs. Locate and release any tabs manually that will not properly release. Remove the plate. Rotate the unit on its back position handles to release the next plate. Observe the position of each locking tab location. Manually release each tab. This should be much easier to release. Once again, use the open tool or a strong plastic screwdriver to separate the locking tabs along the bottom of the grill and the base of the unit. Release the other side of the locking tabs and remove the plate metal grill. Note the position of the tweeter on the plate that can easily be separated by removing the two mounting screws. Begin by releasing LED foot or other cable items. Check and release any locking tabs along the sides of the back cover. Use the open tool or a strong plastic screwdriver to separate the locking tabs along the bottom of the grill and the base of the unit. Gently rock to release all tabs. Carefully lift the back cover just far enough to expose cabling and CN connector board assembly. Release the cable connectors from the rear cover. Remove rear cover. Carefully pull to remove each control knob from the mic board on the back cover. Remove the screw at RCA center connector's location. Turn over the back cover and remove the two mounting screws holding the mic board in place. Remove three mounting screws to the connector board. Remove three mounting screws to the USB board. Carefully remove the three assemblies as one unit. Pull straight out to separate the mic assembly from the connector board, being extra careful not to bend any pins. Check condition and note their position for reinstallation. Pull the USB board straight out and off of its connector position from the connector board. The fan can now be accessed and replaced by removing its mounting screws. To access the subwoofer and LED assembly, release the voice cavity support frame mounting screws.
Disconnect cables and pull straight up to remove it. The woofer can now be removed by releasing its mounting screws. The LED assembly can also be removed by removing its four mounting screws.